from entire AI boss fights to some pretty useful machines and even a few satisfying creations, I am the WL. And in this video, I'm showing you 28 command block creations made by ordinary players. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and comment, letting me know which is your favorite creation. Every interaction you give this video and my channel as a whole really does go a long way. Thank you. For our first clip, with the use of command blocks and a data pack, Reddit Tard recreated Attack on Titan in Minecraft and made for this pretty awesome scene. I haven't seen Attack on Titan, so I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I mean, it looks pretty cool to me. A player by the name of DuckYT created potions of fire and they're actually useful. I would love to see this in the game. A player by the name of Shadow Week made a working lawnmower for all your lawn mowing needs and it even collects the grass for you. World 1 underscore Lev 1 created a snowball spiral and it looks kind of satisfying. I'm surprised I haven't seen this in those satisfying videos going around on YouTube right now. Mali Rov made an entire game in Minecraft. Now that's just impressive. You obviously already know what the game is, it's obviously Snake, but I thought I'd just clarify that just in case. But yeah, we're at that level where people are just recreating entire games within Minecraft using the commands within Minecraft. I mean, that's just crazy stuff. And it's only the tip of the iceberg for what we have later on. Bo them a lot, create a custom death animation for his upcoming map for Minecraft Bedrock. <laughs> Which is something I haven't seen before. Custom death animations is a pretty cool idea. Scarlet the hamster created working gifts. Who else has seen Hunter X Hunter? Let me know in the comments. There does seem to be a theme of a lot of anime ones though. Pal Kip added rope into the game. He said it took him a lot of time to get to this point and he's still actively working on it. He wants to make further improvements to the collisions and might even turn it into a whip. You've probably been recommended those satisfying sorting algorithm videos on YouTube, or maybe that's just me. Anyways, Eco Andrea has made something similar where it will sort the mobs in order of their height. The man ate one, made a working wheel of fortune. Your prize is half a car, or in this case, I guess half a diamond. A player by the name of Dcas made this new mob that will actually try and drag you under the ground. Now that's terrifying. Name is Name Sake created this custom boss battle and he got a little bit carried away with the theatrics. But I'm glad he did because this is intense. Imagine this was vanilla Minecraft where the boss fights were this intense. Here's another custom boss fight that will just blow your mind, made by a player called Kindred408.
But he doesn't stop there, Kindred has also made another boss fight. This one's called Fryren the Storm Whisperer. And some of the effects that you see in this are just mind blowing. And probably has to be the coolest boss fight I think I've ever seen. Silver Cat showing us Redstone vs Commands. Holly Edge made this really smooth door animation that took over 1,200 command blocks to create. And I believe that, I mean it really does show. Here's a different kind of door animation, dubbed the Iris, and was made by Momin Taylor Suri. I think I butchered that name, I'm sorry. Here's a simple block pushing mechanic created by Snoo121. The creator himself called it simple, but I mean that must have taken him a lot of commands to pull off, and I don't think I would have really called it simple. Carter has been recreating Splatoon in Minecraft using, well, I mean, you guys can guess it by now, command blocks. I've linked his Planet Minecraft post down below for those who want to follow the project. I'm showing off now what he currently had a few months back, and I believe the project is now completely finished. So I can only imagine how good it looks now. Remy made a house using falling blocks. It took him over 35 hours to create and it shows this is some pretty cool use of commands. MCE Mal5 tried pushing himself this week, so he made 10 different super items. I'll show you off the first three, if you want to see the whole thing, make sure to check out his post. I think my personal favourite has to be the torch super item, it looks like something I'd just love to have on my worlds, that's for sure. Gaming Kitty One has created a custom boss fight with some pretty special, unique abilities. When pillagers have jetpacks, just when I thought they couldn't get any worse. So wait, wait, wait a minute. They're smart enough to get jetpacks, but they're still using crossbows. Q-Line MC, the player who made the previous clip, has created this marching pillager army scene. Why can't I stop watching this? It looks so cool. <laughs> Mr. Cube 6 showing us this incredible randomly generated dungeon which makes use of shulker boxes and armor stands. His full video is on his YouTube channel, which is linked down below for you guys, where he goes into more detail about how it works. 
Miles Plays on YouTube made the worst thing humanly possible. A smart AI zombie. Yeah, that's right. This zombie will chase you no matter what. It can MLG bucket, tunnel, and tower up. And in general, it's just smart enough to follow you in any kind of terrain. Plutonium273 made a few custom bosses in Minecraft. Some of these are just mind-blowing and they deserve their own thing. Wow, you made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it, right? Please make sure you've left a like and comment, let me know which is your favourite. And if you want to submit clips to me, make sure you go onto my Reddit, which will be linked in the pinned comment. Also, make sure that you're subscribed. But that's it, thank you guys for watching, I have two more videos on screen I think you will enjoy.